Welcome to the Arclight Battery, your power source for all things Warcraft Rumble related. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Murkai and be going over some of his PvP builds, his weaknesses, his strengths, and some options you can play in his build. But before we get started, I would just like to give a big thank you to everyone who watches and comments, uh, subscribes, even if you don't, just thank you for being here. You guys have shown me tremendous support. Uh, it means the world to me, so thank you so much. So, let's go ahead and get into the video. Today's video is Murkai, like I said earlier. Currently, I'm running the Marathon of the Murlocs talent on him. This just extends his passive by five seconds, his passive being for five seconds after deploying him. Some of the Murloc tied Hunter for each gold spent in other minis. Now, some people like some of the other talents here, uh, like Electric Eels, that briefly stun enemies on his attack, or Tip of the Spear where old murkai summons the murlocs at his location instead of at your main base however i really like marathon of the murlocs um it doesn't really necessarily mean you get more murlocs out of him you just kind of get them over the course of a longer time period and that's important because you can play him and then respond to your opponent's response of murkai with units and then get murlocs for them now that's not what you do all the time um, however it does help you not group your murlocs up as well because grouping them up makes them susceptible to chain lightning or blizzard or safe pilot or things of that nature so the more spread out they can be the better for you next we have prowler he's a three gold cost tank that is fast i'm currently running the predatory instincts talent on him where he deals double damage to enemies who are at more than 75 percent health However, on the Prowl is very good as well. Same with Pack Leader. This is a little worse right now, I feel like, just because the main source of damage on the enemy's base in PvP is chip damage. You want to be getting your Murlocs to the base, or a Prowler, or a Safe Pilot, or something that's going to hit the base a couple of times, and then your opponent will probably kill it. So you're doing chip damage while you're controlling gold and eventually winning. So a lot of people think Murkai is this big giant rush and push of units to really take the base and sometimes that happens but generally you're just controlling gold with him and then eventually whittling down the enemy base so both of these talents on the prowl and predatory instincts are very good but currently i'm running predatory instincts just to play around with it i was running on the prowl both of them are good he's generally used for countering huntress as well as taking treasure chests in the middle because he's fast uh, he's very good at countering huntress he's very good at killing a lot of things actually with this predatory instincts talent however on the prowl lets him avoid uh bridge control like safe pilots or griffin riders that go over the top so both are pretty solid next is murloc tide hunters they are a two gold cycle unit that are ranged i'm currently running the careful aim talent on them to give them plus two range safety bubble is okay too weaker against drake and rind just because they have uh like a continuous not really a dot attack, but it attacks multiple times over the course of the channel. So, kind of weak to that. Careful Aim lets them attack Griffin Riders better that have the plus 3 range talent, which is very good currently in this meta. So, I really think Careful Aim is probably the best talent. It also gives them a longer range on bridge control. So, when they're above the bridge, they can attack things below it at a further distance. It really helps a lot of the time. Next is Quillbore. He is a two gold cost unbound cycle tank with resistance. He's very solid. We are running Bristleback, though Bramble Burst is probably good too. Both of these talents make it to where he doesn't deploy as quickly. Well, not as quickly as Tunnel Vision. So he actually tanks towers better because of this. By putting him at max range, he'll take a full cone attack from a tower before he actually gets out of the ground and then starts walking towards it. And Dragon Towers deal more damage the closer the unit is to the tower. So, that is why we're running those. Bristleback's also good uh, when contesting treasure chests from skeletons or other quill bores or dark iron miners because it helps him win those trades better. Next, we have Safe Pilot. I'm currently running Coming In Hot with Safe Pilot, though No Much Cloaking Device is also very good. This just helps you claim treasure chests quicker. It puts a dot on enemy units to keep them from going stealth again. Um... Generally, though, this will kill them out of stealth. I just like this talent better. But Nomish Cloaking Device is very good as well. She is used to claim gold around the map. 
deny enemies from mining gold, uh, which is super important. She is used to take out necromancers or kill huntresses with the addition of a quill war tank. However, she's just very versatile and a great unit on the map. She's also probably the best tank right now for towers, which sounds weird, but by putting her in the back corner of your enemy's base, the target or the tower will target her and she'll just sit there and blast it for quite a while because, you know, when you're at ranged, the dragon tower just kind of tickle you and you can put her wherever you want. So she's fantastic. Next is Chain Lightning. This is kind of my flex spot in this deck. This could very easily be a Griffin Rider or Bandits, but we'll talk about those in a little bit. I really like Chain Lightning here because it denies enemy Kobolds. It kills Sappers after they've invested three gold into them. It kills Harpies at even level. It knocks things out of stealth and stuns them. So you can knock Huntress out of stealth and stun it uh, before your Murlocs get to it. And generally, they're pretty good at taking it out. Uh, it's just a super solid spell all around. The stun is just so versatile, and being able to deny enemy gold with it is fantastic. Then we have Dark Iron Miner. This guy is just to claim gold on top of the bridge in a quick, efficient way. Right now I'm running Gold Mine, though it just kills Kobolds. It doesn't kill Skeletal Mages from Baron, which makes it kind of just okay, I feel. He has an Armored Talent and a Fury Talent. I normally run the Fury Talent, but I'm playing around with the Gold Mine Talent right now. But none of the talents are exceptionally strong, in my opinion. He kind of just does the same thing regardless of what you pick. So, this is kind of just a toss-up. You can take whatever you want. But generally, he's just for claiming gold on top of the bridge out of the gold mines. However, sometimes when you're short uh, some units under the bridge, he can be used in a clutch situation to take treasure chests as well. Especially if your opponent has just responded by putting a bunch of gold onto the map in areas that are not under the bridge uh, to respond to one of your murloc uh, spawns from your leader. So, he's very useful in that. What are some of Murkai's strengths? Well, he puts constant pressure on the map everywhere, so your opponent has to spread out their resources better, uh, or spread them out more so that they can control what you're doing. He has better bridge control than a lot of other decks because of the murlocs he spawns so under the bridge is almost never not supported by your push and he's very good at planning what you're going to do just because you have the ability to save up a bunch of gold and then put pressure on different parts of the map he's ranged as well as all the things that he spawns are ranged so he's very strong against dragon towers currently uh, he really has a lot going for him what are some of his weaknesses though well, Jaina plus Chain Lightning will kill him instantly, which is not great because as soon as you spawn him, you can not gain any value from him, from all of the gold you had been saving, and then you, you kind of have lost out on the time that you had been saving that gold and doing nothing. Um, Safe Pilot is very bad for him. Um, she can kill him anywhere on the map. However, if you place him somewhat towards the back of your base, in the red zone, they won't be able to use that to kill him. So it's not too bad, you can kind of play around it. But he's also very weak at grouping up. Because of the amount of units he summons, Chain Lightning, Blizzard, Safe Pilot, all are very good against him. So it's it's kind of a toss-up, but generally you can spread your Murlocs out enough that most players won't be able to deal with every single one of them each time. So some Murlocs are going to leak through while you're doing other things on the map. So what are some options that I might play and sit in this deck if I didn't have all of these units and talents? Well, Griffin Rider is very strong. We already have very good ma uh, map control and bridge control, but Griffin Rider would help in this situation. We could replace Chain Lightning for it, probably. The plus three range talent is extremely useful on Griffin Rider. One of the best PvP units in the game currently, just because she's a cheap cycle unit that has a long range, so she can knock Baron off of his mount at even level, I believe. She's very good at hitting Drakes, um, Murlocs that don't have the plus two range talent, just all around super good. Harpies are okay. A lot of people fall into the trap of Harpies in PvP. They do a lot of DPS, and if they ever get to the tower with a tank distracting it, they'll absolutely rip the shreds. However, they're three gold, and Chain Lightning takes them out at even level, so it's Holy Nova. And a lot of people are playing them with Trinket Collection, which kind of, in my opinion, is asking to lose every single matchup that you play against someone who plays Chain Lightning. Because before, Harpies are just three gold, and two gold takes them out, which is already losing gold. 
but now every time you play your harpies you're losing two gold if they have chain lightning and they know what they're doing because they will save their chain lightning for your harpies for that specific reason because gaining or you spending four gold for me spending two gold is just fantastic so i don't recommend harpies but if you can play them well i guess they're okay just avoid chain lightning and all i know if you can um bandits are really good with Murkai. I'm currently not playing them just because I'm I'm trying other things. I don't think I need the gold control, and I don't believe that getting big pushes will help me win high-rated games. I think you can overwhelm bad players with Murloc Swarms. However, generally when you're playing against high-level players and people who know what they're doing, you're going to just get chip damage in with your Murlocs. However, if you want to make a giant swarm of murlocs, these guys are really good at helping you do that because they can generate you a lot of gold with the picklock talent while your murkai's passive is rolling so you can generate even more murlocs. If you're doing something like that where you're trying to make a giant death ball of murlocs, I would recommend running the cheat death talent, or the cheat death spell, rather, so you can protect them. I would give them vampirism with the talent where they heal based on the damage they deal, Again, I don't think that's how you're winning games in high ELO, maybe against lower level players that don't really know what they're doing, but it's up to you. If you like this playstyle, go ahead and play it. I think it's good, just not the best. All right, we have a... Ooh, a bear. Okay, let's see how we handle this. Okay, let's go ahead and get this going. Okay, we can distract soon here, and these should be able to kill. Yeah, this is fine. We're doing good. I don't think we need to do this, but I want to get this going as soon as possible. We don't want to give up the the mines if we can help it. It's a big source of gold, and we need to generate as many... As much econ as we can for our Murkai. We'll wait, because nothing's being threatened right now. Gold cap, so we can start playing. Though, I think he gave up. I think once he lost the quick advantage, I think he gave up. So we'll go ahead and make some more murlocs. And yeah, unfortunately. This happened quite a bit recently, actually, where people will lose the beginning gold and just kind of stop playing. Which, you know, it is what it is. Alright, well, we had a good distraction with our quillboard there, so probably could take out hunters pretty easily. Uh, we claimed both of the mines early on. And got one of the chests in the middle. All right, match number two, we have a another Baron. All right, like Barons, we'll go ahead and grab this, this, and you here. Okay, and now we can save a little for Murloc pushes. Harpies here. Yep, we want to stop that. We'll control the bridge in just a second. Drop a couple more here. Yeah. Oh, it still killed our safe out. That's okay. We just want to take advantage of being able to kill the safe pilot. Okay. We got a couple seconds before we need to place something in the mid for treasure. Go ahead and do that. As soon as we get the chest, we'll probably drop Murkai as well as. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Grab these. This should help him. We can drop here to support. And then go split Murlocs. Okay. Go ahead and tank here. Get as much damage as possible on the tower. And waiting on treasure chest. We've got about five seconds before we need to play a Prowler, I believe. Oh, uh, but I think it might just be over. We counted everything he did and had a good Quiltboard tank here. All right, we are a level up on him, so it's unfortunate. We were a level up on the last guy, too, but that's kind of how it is currently. All right, we have another Baron. Okay, so we start with a Murkai. We'll claim ours, and then go ahead and take his gold. No, we need to find Chain Lightning. Uh, too slow. It's left with one gold, though. It's all good. Okay, we're doing okay. Save a little bit of gold here. 
We don't need to deal with this just yet. We can play a Murkai first and then safe pilot all of these. Ooh, Holy Nova. Okay. Got some Murlocs up here to support. Even though they're gonna miss him, Murkai should finish him. Get a wolf down bottom for treasure chest control. We're gonna go ahead and done those. Okay, the wolves are good. That's gonna kill him. Ooh, not quite, huh? Okay, so we're gonna get Murkai's as soon as these get close. Then we'll drop a miner here to claim this gold to get the most out of our Murkai. Okay, so Murkai here. This here, this here. Go ahead and drop a miner here with the Murloc supports. We will stun here so he doesn't take advantage of our Murkai. Those should die pretty easily. We can get another Murkai push going here in just a moment. Put the wolf there. We're gonna stop that. But I think we were gonna get it anyway. That's totally fine. Just make sure you control the gold as much as possible. All right. Plenty of gold, plenty of gold. All right, that's a big Merc guy push. He's gonna have to deal with it. All right, not too bad, not too bad. All right, let's see, we have a Hogger. All right, so first tier. Cool word to counter this, he does the same. We'll get a wolf here to help. Should we get that one, he gets the other one. We're gonna Murkai across the bridge and then claim the gold up here. We don't get a lot of Murlocs from it, but that's a-okay. See, I'm okay with this turn of events. Yeah, this is, this is fine. We don't care about any of this. Get double duty here. Don't know if we'll kill. Yeah, okay, good. Get Murlocs up here to counter the miner. And then we'll get Wolf here in just a moment. Okay, he can claim that goal. I think that's fine. We'll get the treasure chests. Should be popping up pretty quick here. Kind of this. Grab that one. Miner here. Chain lightning here. Get that gold. Save just a little bit of time and gold real quick, and we'll play a Murkai shortly. We got mines out. Okay. Let's do this. Let's split Murlocs. Go ahead and drop you all the way back here. Let's help here. And then we can Chain Lightning here to save our Murlocs. Quill Bore here to save our Murlocs. Wolf down the middle in just a second for treasure chests. Yeah. We might have to distract. Yeah, come back here. So we get that treasure. This will help here. We should be able to get this. Yeah, we're doing great. We're controlling gold really well right now. Nice, good job. Okay, so we're about to get another Murkai push. We'll do the same thing. Split the Murlocs. Get ready to respond to whatever's happening. It's not a lot actually happening. Okay, we assume that was going to kill our Murkai. That's okay. Mm, don't know if that was worth. That's okay, though. Yeah, we should have saved it for this. That's, that's fine, though. We'll kill him like this, I guess. It's fine. Um, let's get our quill board to contest, and then we'll start getting the gold on the map. Quickly kill that. Yes, okay, we claim that. Then we should be able to get both of these together here in a second. Oh, no, no, no such luck. That's okay, though. He can get that treasure... We're gonna have to give that one up. I think we played this a little poorly, to be honest. Um, but that's okay. We'll get it figured out here in just a second. So we're gonna place this here into this. We should be able to get all of that pretty easily. We got chain lightning here to support. Okay. 
This should get taken out by the Murlocs, so I'm not too terribly worried about that. Um, let's go ahead and get Murlocs down here to claim this gold. We might have to deploy here. We'll deploy here for our Murlocs sake. I should be able to take it. But we want to not waste our gold. Yeah, we got a lot of gold coming. This should break out, and then this should kill it, so we don't have to chain lightning it. Um, we will deploy this here, and this here, and this here. Like that be stunned. That's okay. We'll get Murlocs back down here. Those should die pretty easily. We'll, we should catch up here. Get both of those. Uh, we missed. Man, rough. That's okay. We just have to defend, really. We're so far ahead right now. Nice, good amount of gold. Get a quill war tank. Let's place this up here for pressure. Wolf for wolf. Chain lightning to kill base. All right, that's a good game. That's a good hogger deck. Actually, probably one of the better hogger decks I've seen this high on the ladder. So good game. And there you have it. There's the Murkai PVP showcase. So if you liked today's video and you learned something, please leave a comment or a like or subscribe if you've enjoyed what you saw. If you didn't enjoy what you saw, I've got more work to do, and I promise to keep trying to make these videos better and more useful with more helpful tips and information. But if you do feel like sharing, please do. Please leave a comment. It really helps a small channel like mine grow, and I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for being here, and I hope everyone has an awesome day. Until next time, bye.